Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com here. Uh, today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM, load Hero, uh, set up apps to SD, uh, do Wi-Fi tether, pretty much whatever you could possibly want to do uh, to your G1 or your MyTouch 3G once you've rooted. Uh, so if you're not there already, please go to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that, and look for our how to load custom ROM, blah, 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 blah. If you just search for how to uh, load custom ROM, this one will probably be the top one. And then we're going to go down to, before we begin, uh, if you've already rooted your MyTouch or your G1, please do one of these two uh, videos, procedures, to unroot, um, regardless of what step you think you're at or if you feel like you've already done the one-click setup. Um, our one-click root is different than the one that you find on most websites, and, and it is necessary for the way that we're going to do the rest of this. So please unroot. Then, you're going to need to root using our procedure uh, with the one-click method. The link is here inside the uh, post here. And then we can uh, continue for now. Okay, to begin, uh, you're going to take your already rooted with our one-click rooting process, uh, my touch or G1. Plug it in to the computer. When the notification comes down, you're going to pull it down. Click on mount. Okay, then you're going to go to our site and do step one. You're going to do uh, download the custom radio for your device. Uh, we have both of them listed here for the G1 and for the MyTouch 3G. Download that, save it to your computer, and then go to the next step. Okay, once you've downloaded the radio from HTC, uh, you're going to drag it over to your SD card. And once it's done, you're going to rename it to update. And then we can close that out. Okay, once you've closed out the SD card, you can unplug your phone. Then we're going to turn it off. Okay, once it's off, we're going to hold down power and home. To turn it back on. Keep holding it. Okay, you should get this recovery image. If yours doesn't have these options, Format SD, Fat32 XT, whatever, uh, or not as many of these options, then you didn't do our one-click uh, rooting process. You need to go back and do it, um, and unrooting first, etc. Uh, otherwise, if you did get this, you're all set. Go to wipe data. Screen to do it. And click apply update. That's it. Screen again. And let that install. It's done installing. It's going to tell you to complete installation. You need to reboot. So reboot. And let it do its thing. Once it's done, it should reboot. If it takes a while like this and it doesn't reboot, just push the power button like you're turning it on. I'll let go. Wait for this symbol. Okay, when that symbol goes away, it might stay off or it might uh, reboot automatically. If yours stays off like mine seems to always do, uh, again, hit the power button. Once you get the screen, just wait a good 10 seconds. To make sure that it's not going to load anything else. Since it's not, we're going to take off the back. Take out the battery. Put back in. And then we can take out the SD card. And we're going to put it into our SD adapter. And put that into our computer. Okay, now back on our site again, you're going to download the custom SPL for your device, G1 here, MyTouch 3G here, and then once it's done downloading, we can go to the next step. Okay, once it's done downloading, uh, mine's here. Yours may look different than this if you use the G1, um, but we're going to transfer that now over to OK, 
Okay, and then we can close out the card. Okay, as we close out the card, we're going to take it out of the computer. And then we're going to apply the update that zip. Okay, once that's done, it's going to say reboot to continue. We're going to do that. Hit reboot. And the same thing is going to happen. It should reboot automatically. If it doesn't, like my phone doesn't like to do, we're going to hold down power for a second. We'll turn the phone on. Wait for that image to do its thing. And again, it should reboot. If it doesn't, power again. And wait for the My Touch logo. And we're going to give it about 10 seconds just to make sure it's not loading anything else. Okay, mine automatically went to the recovery screen. Yours might do that. Um, if it does, good. Uh, if it doesn't, no problem. Just uh, take out the battery and put it back in to, to turn the phone off. Then put it back into recovery mode again by holding down uh, power and home like we did before. Once we get to recovery, the next step we're going to do is we are going to uh, wipe. And then we're going to format the SD card. So we're going to choose the FAT32 EXT2 and swap. and uh, wait for that to finish formatting. Okay, once the formatting's done, you can take out the battery, put it back in, and then we're gonna take out the memory card again, and put it into our SD adapter, and back into our computer. Okay, then we're gonna go back to our site, to section four, um, and you can download any ROM you want at this point. Um, make sure that if you're using a G1, it's a ROM for a G1, and make sure that if you're using uh, the My Touch, that it's a ROM for the 32B Magic. Okay, 32A is a different uh, motherboard, and you don't want to use that; it'll mess up your phone. So only 32B Magic ROMs. Um, you can either get them from our download section, which we have a few that uh, we recommend. Other than that, you can go to the forum.xda-developers.com. Look for the appropriate section for your phone, then development, uh, and you'll find a whole bunch of them. You just got to search for them. Um, but again, make sure that they say 32B Magic if you're using the MyTouch. Okay, now I've downloaded a Hero 32B Magic ROM, um, considering I'm sure most people here are going to want to load Hero. Um, so we're just going to take that once it's done downloading, and again, put it on the memory card. Okay, once the ROM that you want is on the memory card, we're going to, that's right, rename it to update. Okay, once we've done that, again, we can close the SD card. Okay, after we've closed the SD card, we can take it out from the computer, put it into our G1 or My Touch, and then boot the phone on by holding down Home and Power. Okay, and then we're on the recovery image again. We're going to wipe. And then we're going to apply update.zip. And let that install. Okay, once it's done installing whatever ROM it is, it should say install from SD card complete. We're going to click reboot. Now, if your phone doesn't reboot automatically, hold down power to turn it on. Uh, once it turns on, you should have your custom ROM running and ready to go. Um, if you want to change ROMs from whatever you did, uh, whatever you loaded just now, don't do steps or sections one through four. Just do section four. Um, it's a lot easier. You're just basically going to take whatever custom ROM you want, put it back on the SD card, wipe, and then apply the update. And that's it. Much easier than before. 
Um, if you guys have any comments or any issues, leave them on the site. Thanks.